Okay, so in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make cool color changing animated text like you just saw in my preview using GIMP. First off, open GIMP, which I've already done, and go to File, New, and Create a New Image. It doesn't matter what dimensions you use, but I'm just going to be using 500 by 400. And under Advanced Options, make sure you click Fill with Transparency and click OK. Now get your text tool and choose a font and size and color that you want and just type in whatever text that you want to use. I'm just going to use colors and move it to wherever you want. Now on your colors layer or your text layer, go layer, layer to image size. Now you can just delete your background layer by just right clicking delete layer. Now make a new layer on top of your text layer and call it colors1 and make sure it's filled with transparency and click OK. Now get your gradient tool Make sure your gradient is set to foreground to transparent and your shape is set to bilinear. And choose a foreground color that you want for your first color. I'm just use this pink color. And drag out your gradient a bit. Make sure to keep it straight so you get a line like that. And get your move tool and just move it to the start of your text like that. Now, make sure you're on your colors one layer. Make a new layer on top of that and call it colors 2 and click OK. Now choose a second color that you want. I'm just going to use blue and click OK. Get your gradient tool again and just drag out a gradient like you did the first time. And get your move tool and move it next to your first color like that. Now make a new layer on top of your colors 2 layer and call it colors 3 and click OK. Now choose a third color that you want. I'm just going to use yellow. Click OK. Get your gradient tool again and drag it out a little bit like that until you get a line. And Get your move tool and move it just like that. Now make another new layer and call it colors 4. This will be the last color. And click OK. Now choose a fourth color. I'm just going to use green. Click OK. Get your gradient tool and drag out a line like that. And get your move tool and move it over. Now, what you want to do is go to your colors one layer and duplicate the layer by clicking this little icon right here and move the copy right up to the top like that. Now get your move tool make sure it's set to move the active layer and just drag it over like that. Go to your colors 2 layer and do the same thing. Duplicate the layer move it to the top and just drag it over. And the same thing with colors 3 duplicate, move to the top and move over. And you keep doing this until you have all of your text covered with your colors. Just like this. And move it over. Do your colors one, duplicate, move to the top, and move over. Colors two, duplicate move to the top and move over. Okay, so once you have that done, go down to your original text layer, right click, and click Alpha to Selection. 
Now go to select invert or control I and on every other on your colors layer just click delete on every layer. Until you get something that looks like this. Now what you want to do is go down to your original text layer and duplicate it and put it between all of your colors layer like this. Duplicate and put it between your colors layer like that. And just keep doing this until you get to the end. On every one of your colors layer, right click and merge down to the text layer below it. Just like this. And keep doing that until you get to the bottom. And you should have something that looks like this. Now to see the effect you just made, go to Filters, Animation, and Playback. And this window will pop up. Click Play, and you'll see your colors flash across your text. Now if you like what you just made, and you want to save it, I'm going to show you how you can save it. Go to File, Save As, and give it a name. So we'll call mine Colors 2. And make sure for the file extension it's .gif, where it's an animation. If you save it as anything else, it won't work. And click Save. And if you get this message, make sure you click Save as Animation. And click Export. And then if you get this message, click Crop. And then this, click Save. And then it will save your animation for you. So, if you like this tutorial, just please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.